Hi, in this advanced English conversation lesson, we'll be talking about skiing in the mountains. And we'll be using a picture to get the conversation started. Adrian, does this picture represent skiing in the mountains for you? Yes, Martin, it really does. When I think of skiing, I think of lots of snow. And of course, I think of being on a mountain, but then mountains in the distance and other people skiing with me. What about you? So for me, I really like this picture. The snow looks absolutely pristine. There are people making fresh tracks in the snow. In the background, you've got beautiful mountains. There's a lovely hue to the sky. There are little fluffy white clouds. It looks idyllic. I'd really like to be there. Right. Now, Martin, I know that you've been skiing before. Tell us where you've been skiing, please. Well, I'm really lucky. I've been skiing in Austria, mm -hmm. Poland, mm -hmm. and I've also been skiing in Bulgaria. Wow. That's right. That was wow. my last skiing holiday. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Well, I must say, Poland sounds quite exotic for skiing. Um, can you remember anything in particular about Poland and skiing? Yes, there were mountains and snow. <laughs> and I also did have um, the classic traditional cheese. I was skiing mm. along, I got mm -hmm. to the bottom of the mountain and had some of that very salty traditional countryside cheese that they have only in Poland. The, the squeaky one, it's delicious. <laughs> when I say squeaky, if you're Polish, you know what I mean, the squeaky cheese. <laughs> well, I've, I've heard it all now. <laughs> so, Adrian, have you ever been skiing? Yes, I have once in my life, um, and I was skiing in Italy. How was it? Great. Now, I was a beginner, so I had no other comparison, but I'd definitely go skiing again. It was fun. I didn't necessarily notice that I was in Italy. Mm -hmm. It was just wonderful to be on a mountain in the Alps. Okay. So, when you were skiing, mm -hmm. you didn't have any previous experience, I suppose. No. Can you remember the things that you learnt, the things that you practised? Well, I, I learnt to stand on skis. Congratulations. And I didn't fall over very often. Mm -hmm. I had friends teaching me, very capable skiers themselves, okay. and they helped me greatly, and we skied down the mountain together. And that's why I love this picture so much, because... Um, the two penguins and the skier are really going down maybe as a team and I like it. Okay, did you see many penguins in Italy, Adrian? No, penguins don't live in Italy, they live in the South Pole, Martin, how okay. many times? <laughs> so, of the characters in this picture, mm -hmm. who do you relate to the most? Honestly, um, I think I relate best to the penguin on the skis. Okay. And that's because I also have a green skiing helmet. Okay. Can I show it to you? Please show us your green skiing helmet, Adrian. So here we go. That's very nice. So you're part of the Elite Green Helmet Skiing Club. Indeed, indeed. Martin, which of the three characters in the picture do you best relate to? I wish I could relate to the man who is skiing very capably. He looks mm -hmm. in control. He looks like a pro. He's got all the skiing gear and he, he looks like he knows what he's doing. In truth, I think I'm the slow person skiing. Okay. So I'm most like the penguin in the background, the, the one with a nice blue and white scarf flapping in the wind. And he's also got a nice cup of tea that looks very calming, mm. very soothing. Yeah, sounds like my kind of guy too. And also, I noticed that the penguin uh, with a cup and saucer mm -hmm. is wearing sunglasses. Now, that's very useful, that's I right. found. Useful and important. Why is it important, Adrian? Um, obviously, it protects your eyes from the wind if you're wearing sunglasses mm -hmm. and maybe a bit of snow, but also from the bright sunshine reflecting into your eyes. And if you're skiing, you need to see where you're going. Um, so it's a, a safety thing, really, for me. That's right. I do find when I ski with my eyes closed, it is a bit harder. Mm -hmm. Martin, 
they're over there just off screen. Will you show off your goggles for us, please? Here they are. Yes, my my fancy goggles. It These... is it is bright in here. <laughs> it is very bright in here. Yeah, we've got our lights on for recording. So let me just pop them on for a moment. Ah, oh, that's very nice. Everything looks a little bit yellow, though. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You look like a, a visitor from the future. <laughs> like maybe out of Star Trek. Is that OK to say? Are we allowed to say that? Great. Probably. Why not? Yeah. So actually, they're very comfortable and they do protect from the glare of the light off of the snow. Um, if you actually are stuck in the snow and there's too much sunlight, it's possible to go snow blind. Right. OK. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, yes, they're very comfortable and they do help when skiing. Mm -hmm. Can I can I take them off now? Thank you, Martin. You can take them off, but I enjoyed it. And oh, good. I know you also own a ski jacket, but neither you nor I own our own skis. That's doing. right. That's right. So when you go on a skiing holiday, you can either take your own skis or you can rent some skis there. And that's what I did the last time. Mm -hmm. How did you do it last time? I, I was exactly the same. I rented skis and I must say having rented the skis i was a little nervous to leave them outside the ski chalet um when i was going in for lunch and we can see this in the picture there are a couple of pairs of skis left vertically in the snow presumably people are inside martin what happens inside a ski chalet well there's usually good food hot drink and something to keep you going also the chance to rest and relax, maybe recuperate if you've been skiing hard. And usually it's a nice friendly place. Mm. What would you say? I'd say definitely my experience of ski slopes is they are very friendly. Okay, so on balance, Adrian, um, from your experience skiing in mm -hmm. Italy, would you go skiing again? Definitely. Um, maybe not in Italy. I think I'd love to go to somewhere as exotic as either Poland or Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. um, but I had a good time in Italy. Um, so, yeah, thumbs up. Mm, good, good. And when are you next going, Martin? I've got no plans at the moment, but it would be very nice to ski again because it is good fun. You feel great skiing, don't you? It's great when gravity does all the work and you just have to do a bit of that, right? Yeah. I, that I, skiing. I can see that that holiday in Italy is going to pay off in the future. Martin, can I ask a personal question, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, go on. When you're skiing down a mountain, mm -hmm. really fast, like the okay. skier, yeah. do you hear exciting music in your mind? <laughs> I know like, I did. Like action music. Action music. Okay. I've never had that yet. <laughs> not yet. Okay. <laughs> but maybe one day. Maybe. You're clearly not at that level yet. No, no. no that's just just a, a beginner. Really. The advanced level that I am. Well, <laughs> that's right. Maybe one day, Martin. <laughs> yeah. and, and with that, we'd like to wish all of you who are thinking of skiing, planning your skiing trip, or actually going skiing to have a, a really wonderful time on your next trip. All the best. <laughs>